you got uh, answers to some of these questions already from this job search you can even go to linkedin and uh, type the keyword and it's open you will get the jobs listed on linkedin you can even do the same in other job sites like nokri.com or timesjobs.com shine.com indeed.com so you can go and do your research to find out the whether there are enough opportunities or not now before i answer some other questions let me take you through the path how you get there it is a very brief actually this is not really the focus area for this video so i am uh, uh, i am going to be very quick on this uh, path part so the path is like this you are either a design engineer with 2 to 5 years of experience either using nx or other cad software but it makes sense to pursue nx open knowledge if you are familiar with nx cad software then your first step once you decided is definitely to learn nx open it takes around 1 to 3 months to learn along with the programming language then the next is practicing nx open creating several program examples yourself firstly with the help of a mentor or a, who is someone expert in nx open and then later uh, mostly independently and this uh, time range for practicing uh, ranges from uh, after 3 months you will pr- start practicing and 3 months to 12 months you can do in a practice so that you prepare yourself to get hired as a nx cad developer in in this one of these companies yeah there are more requirements for experienced professionals than the fresher one this is the reason that you need to spend at least one year and getting good exposure getting good hands on before you attempt interview there are no open positions for freshers in nx open there are no open positions for freshers in nx open at all let this uh, deep uh, de- let this uh, go into your head uh, straight away clearly so there are no open positions for freshers now i will go ahead answer few more questions why this future what is the future of career what is the career future in nx open so basically once you get hired you start yourself as a nx cad developer it is not just enough to see what is the immediate potential of this skill set you also need to see you also look at what is the long term future prospect career prospect in nx open so this particular uh, point i am going to answer now so once you start you start with nx cad apis using this apis and uh, programming knowledge you develop your programs so you spend here around 1 to 2 years and then you become senior cad developer so till this point you might have understood that this is a software profile job you don't you are not more uh, you are no more a mechanical uh, profile uh, person a mechanical engineer you become a software engineer who has good knowledge of mechanical industry if you take uh, the software industry uh, for example in software industry there are different domains like banking insurance health etc and similarly there is a domain which is very well connected with the mechanical industry because mechanical industries also use lot of softwares which are specially meant for uh, for their use 
and you become uh, a software person who is more inclined towards mechanical industry so this is what happens when you switch from mechanical design engineer to this profile so when you become senior cad engineer uh, senior cad developer you not only using cad apis of nx but you can also using other apis it may be from other cad software or some other other tool for example team center uh, and you you get good at programming so you are no, no more a fresher in programming you used to do lot of programming and you can even do the complex things so you become a pro programmer in this stage now software developer then you jump into the shoes of a software developer pure software developer who is very good at programming and not just knows one programming language but uh, you get uh, you know couple of uh, them at least uh, very good at uh, them and uh, you also get uh, familiar with uh, other technologies maybe the technologies from web uh, web development along with the cad cad development and you also get good at uh, databases for example sql or or anything similar so you become a good uh, a software developer uh, because your area your technology area is is uh, increasing then after spending some time here you become more of a full stack you start moving towards full stack actually there in full stack there are a lot of technologies uh, there uh, for a it person it engineer it is quite easy to get hands on with um, most of them but as uh, we are basically a mechanical engineer it's not really easy for us to get uh, get good at uh, the new technologies easily uh, mainly the soft software ones so these are the different these are the few examples but you more towards a full stack where you are also good at back end good at database and good at front end though you are doing cad development though you are doing cad automation uh, you are still uh, can get good at several technologies at a time uh, one more thing a disclaimer is this career path is mostly when you are uh, individual contributor so when we start uh, our career after our graduation or masters till the age of 40 this is a typical time where you are more of a individual contributor uh, rather than a managerial uh, person and during this time this is how you can grow in nx cad nx open uh, or nx cad uh, development uh, after at 40 it it is uh, most of us or most uh, most of the people choose a managerial track and that's a uh, very obvious because of uh, the reasons you shall um, so this is the more of a technical point of view the career path uh, for individual contributor till you reach the age of uh, 40 okay so this is the potential and this is how you become uh, a software developer a full stack software developer who is good at cad automation here i am introducing a course called c sharp essentials for nx open customization and programming enroll now and unlock the power of customization in nx don't miss out uh, if you like this video then definitely please uh, hit that like button and if you want if you wanted to receive such video updates from me then please do subscribe to my channel as well thank you for now see you bye bye